Cleo's being a complete butthead today. She just wants, she wants love and attention. All right, I guess I'll vlog from right here. Hey, welcome into the channel. It's Papa Drew. We're over here at Emma Woods. $30 to camp. I will say that the campsite is, well, let's use the word rustic. It's dry camping, so whatever you bring is what you have. There are no dump stations, but I think if you pay for a state beach here, you can go down the street a little ways to Sycamore Canyon and use their dump station for free. That's what we're gonna do on the way home. We'll just pull into Sycamore and dump our gray and black tanks. Not a problem. But yeah, Emma Woods, thumbs up. Good job. If you can deal with a rustic campsite, you're next to the railroad tracks, probably about 100 yards. You're on the old PCH, which they've blocked off. Um, flowers everywhere. It's just, it's it's a nice place. It's quiet, other than the train that goes by every couple hours, two, three hours. It's not bad. And it's a surf liner, so it's really short. Um, other than that, it's just gorgeous. You have 101 right above you. And, yeah, you hear a little bit of freeway noise, but I'll tell you what, that ocean drowns everything out. We slept with the windows open last night, and not a problem we couldn't hear anything other than the ocean so well done the only thing that i wish california would do and if somebody up in california is watching this make some of the sites first come first serve this reservation thing it's nice but it's real hard to get reservations and some of the spirit of camping in my opinion is being able to drive over to the campsite and at least get a couple campsites or have the opportunity to get some it's part of the adventure anyway this is Papa Drew. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you have an awesome day. I just wanted to let everybody know we're starting a new thing on our channel where I go around and I find interesting motorhomes. I get to know the owners, we interview them, and then I take you for a tour inside because everybody has walked around and said, wow, I wonder what's in that motorhome. How did they decorate that? Where are those people from? I'd like to learn more about that. Well, guess what? I'm so shy, I walked up, asked if I could interview people. They said yes, and we did. I have two interviews coming up here from Emma Woods. Stay tuned, watch the channel, and subscribe, and you'll be able to see them. All right, this is the check-in area at Emma Wood. We're gonna go in order so everybody can see the sites and actually see how long they are. We had a small problem when we went to Emma Wood, we had booked Site 14, which online said it was a 30-foot site. The recent storms in California have washed away some of Site 14, which has now made it a 25-foot site. My 33-foot wood rig would not fit. Now, they had an overflow here at Emma Wood, and the lady that checked us in was nice enough to give us Site 62, which is a 50 five foot space so we had a ginormous space to hang out for the weekend it was fun we had a great time here at Emma Wood it was a little windy it was a little cold but it was such a great time here at the oceans we had dolphins every morning and dolphins every evening and a seal even popped its head up and was looking around I was trying to get it on the drone footage but that didn't work. Now, I tried to go live with the drone for everybody that's a subscriber to the channel. We had a small problem. I can go live on my PC here at the house, but I can't go live with the drone until I get a thousand subscribers. So if you're watching this 
and you want to see some cool footage of places that we go, I have no problem popping the drone up for images like this and going live. I think that'd be pretty cool. The only way I can do that is if people subscribe. So, anyway, this is some cool footage. I was real close to the ocean and uh, just zooming across the waves. You can see how rocky the shore is here, but here's a pro tip. If you, when you check in, if you turn around 180 degrees and head up that road a little bit, there's a dog beach right there. And it's tons of sand and it's not that far. You could actually bike ride from the campsite up there. So if you're looking to come over to Emma Woods and swim and hang out and let the dogs run on the beach and stuff, just go over there. It's, uh, it's not that far away and it's, it's really cool. It's a nice beach. Here's the Surfliner tracks, they come every three hours and it's like a five minute run, it's not that big. The ocean is five feet from our rig. If that wall wasn't there, the waves would have been coming up and hitting our RV. I'm not sure about the flagpole, but that light on top is amazing. I highly recommend it. It lit up the whole campsite like it was daylight. It was awesome. <laughs> 